Everything went wrong in this piece, but somehow it came out just right. Welcome to my channel. This is my almost $1,000 painting and my entry for the May the 4th Be With You collab. It's also my birthday. <laughs> Let's jump in and get started. So there is no secret that I have been addicted, <laughs> that's the only one I know, uh, to describe my love for Galaxy Pores here lately, or should I say Galaxy Straight Pores. And so today I wanted to try something different um, for this very special collab. Thank you Donna for the invitation. And I wanted to do a Kiss Pour with two cups. I've never tried it before. And it's essentially where you are pouring both cups out at one time and you are allowing the paint to kiss. And so, you know, I have my paints mixed up and I'm using a 2.5 parts pouring medium uh, to one part paint. And that pouring medium is Floetrol only. And I've mixed my paints up and they are a little bit thinner than what I typically do now in my Galaxy Pours. However, I wanted to go for this ombre monochrome type of effect with my colors. So here I simply just added a little bit of black. This is oxide black um, to my colors to get two gorgeous, rich, deep colors. I got a nice uh, Prussian blue and a very, very pretty uh, maroon. Looks kind of like quinacridone magenta, maybe a couple of shades darker. I will layer my cups with white and these darker shades to create somewhat of that ombre effect. Um, and I will pour my paint out. Now let's talk about what actually has already transpired before the making of this piece. So I actually had a piece that I poured and before traveling to the field art experience in Seattle, Washington, I poured my piece. Upon arriving to Seattle, I realized that I did not press the record button until the very end and therefore that painting was back in North Carolina and so I had to make something else. Also, you will see very soon how this little 14 by 14 about became a $1,000 painting. I will let your minds in wonder until we actually see what happens.
All right, so I have my cups built, and this is just some leftover black paint, along with a couple paint splatters. <laughs> just a little extra there for you. And so I'm going to attempt to do this kiss pour, and you will see that my paints don't touch immediately. Um, I was nervous for some strange reason, um, and trying to get the cups to connect and hoping that the paint wouldn't mix. And so you see a bunch of different angles because... I was trying to get myself together for this pour. <laughs> As you can see, yeah, I dropped my semi brand new phone into my paint. And sometimes things just happen, but what happens after this was actually pretty amazing. So the mixing of my paints is just gorgeous. Like, look at this. Like, this is freaking gorgeous. I could not have made this uh, pattern, if you will, if I tried. And you can just see how much depth we have with the mixing of our colors. Now, your paints have to be a, more of a thicker consistency um, so that they don't mix as soon as they touch each other. And so I'm like, well, maybe I have stumbled across a new technique. Don't know what I'm going to call it. Don't know how to replicate it. But happy accidents sometimes lead to more happiness, <laughs> for lack of better words. So I, instead of scraping this, I decided to, let's just see what happens. So I'm adding some additional paint here, what I call flow extender. This is just a slightly thinner version of my paints to help it flow across my canvas as I tilt. Cause I'm gonna try to open this up and see what we can get from it.
And as I open this up, just look at that. Uh, I just love, like, this is just so, so cool. The play on the blue and the red with the gradient changes. It's like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like two paintings have collided and they're transparent at the top. Love, love, love that. So here, you can see where the phone dropped. Once we picked it up, it pulled up a lot of that white. And look at that. Oh, man. By pulling up that white, um, got that lighter blue to sit on top. I just love that contrast. Love, love, love that contrast. We're going to definitely try this again, but not with my phone. <laughs> Look. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. So I've never actually watched a lot of Star Wars, so I don't know much about it. But I know there is a light side and a dark side. Not really sure which one won in this case. You can be the judge. But... I did some, do some additional tilting, shifting, playing, whatever you want to call it. And I got some amazing still shots. And I also kind of got the piece more symmetric, how I like it. And I got more of that long line off. And you can see I've centered it. So what are your thoughts about this piece I am actually in love with it. It's so different from my norm. And I definitely want to try it again. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that like button. Leave a comment. It's totally free. It helps my channel out so much. Also, don't forget to visit my website. www.garrettbrownartstudio.com And most importantly, don't forget to visit and check out the other artists in this collab what should we name this technique do everything with love treat your friends your family and even your enemies with love peace